Hi everyone, it's Sayward from FindYourDivinity.com. Um, today, for everybody, everybody who's a manifester, I have a spell. So, I had a dream a couple of days ago, actually about a week ago, that I was writing a letter. And I kept writing this letter and I was writing about everything and anything that I wanted. Like, whatever I could write. It was almost like Death Note, right? But instead of bad stuff and people dying, like, it was great. So I had this magical book and I was just writing this letter and writing everything that I wanted and just every anything for anybody that I wanted could come th true through what I was writing, okay? I was writing a letter to the universe. I was writing a letter to myself. I was manifesting in my dream. So the next day after I had this dream, I felt pretty positive. And I walked into my kitchen, got myself my coffee, got to looking around, started cleaning up my altar space. Yes, I have an altar on my counter. I have altars all over my house. I'm a witch. Um, so I started cleaning up like my kitchen altar space and I found a bill. Not just one bill, but two bills. And I was like, are you kidding me? We just had to buy a car, like my savings is kind of down, and now all of a sudden these bills come out? Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I know that everything is happening for a reason, but what is this universe trying to teach me? My giving me surprise bills, you know what I mean? So, um... I looked at these bills and my heart felt a little bit of panic. I'm like, oh God, if they're late, what am I gonna do? I, I gotta pay these bills. And then suddenly it clicked. And I thought, well, if I could write a letter to the universe in my dream and everything happened, why couldn't I do one now? So I had the idea of writing this thing down. Maybe you guys have seen this before, maybe you haven't, but. I I literally had a dream about doing this. Now it was not, I couldn't see Dear Universe, but I just knew because as I wrote things, things happened. So this spell is for anybody who has surprise bills, anybody who has regular bills and you're just like, man, I don't know how I'm gonna make things come through. If you're looking for a specific amount of money for a specific target, this is something that works really well, okay? All of us have bills. A lot of us have trouble paying them. So if you are interested, here we go. So what I did, um, I went ahead and got rid of some of the information here so you guys can't see too much about me, but you'll see the number 36322. Yep, yeah, that's how much I owed on this one. And then this one, which is a another utility bill, it's 147.50 freaking two. Oh my god. Okay, so I went through and I looked, I circled the amount. It doesn't matter what the amount is, but circle the amount, okay? You circle the amount, and then take your amounts, put them together, and add them up, okay? It's probably easier if you don't use the exact amount. However, if you need that exact amount and you're not going to be able to find the other 74 cents in the couch cushion or leave it up to chance, that's fine too. Um, you can write the exact amount. I just went with the round. So when I added up my bills, I needed $500 now. Like, for anybody who does not have this well-paying job that like pays you constantly and you know ev everything is wonderful and you never have to worry about money for the 99 percent of us who are hanging out like day-to-day uh, -day, paycheck to paycheck okay it can be really hard to just generate an extra 500 dollars so i will be honest in saying that this this money was manifested through my business. However, that is my usual method for manifestation, right? If you have a job, that's probably where this money will come from. Or if you're not in a way where you're doing these, if where you're, you have constant work, or if you're not, you don't have these regular avenues, sometimes this money can just appear. So I have some examples of this that I'd like to share with you. Add up your money, get your total, okay? I 
I did the spell and I had someone come out of the blue and try to pay me for work that I had done for free saying if this works out for you you can you know pay me later pay me whatever you think is fair I literally left the platform this person has been looking for me for a couple of months and just suddenly finds me after I do this work and tells me that he wants to pay me for the work that I've done because things are working out and he's really happy with what happens. So that has never happened. I've done a lot of work for people, you know, out of the kindness of my heart, like, yeah, you know, we'll do, we'll figure something out. But never have I had someone actually come back and be like, this was meaningful to my life. I'm trying to pay you, okay? So it was totally unusual. Just wanted to note that. Um, so it's, it's not just my business. Strange stuff happened when I did this, all right? So you get your total up. That's what I gotta pay. And you know what about it is about these bills? If you are a person who went paperless, good for you. It's hard for me to keep track of that. I get so many freaking emails a month. I need the bills to come in paper so that I don't lose them, which as this video shows can still freaking happen, right? So <laughs> that being said, like, you get this paper almost always they send you this they send you one of these envelopes so that you can of course send them money back right no postage you don't even have to use a stamp just send us your money so use that crap take one of these if you got an extra one around somewhere that you want to use that's fine if you got a different envelope that's fine i don't care but this is what they gave me this this is what i'm using so you take down your bills, all the bills, okay? You don't have to have a separate envelope for each one of these. You just take down all of these bills and you stick them in the envelope. Now, it does not matter to me which way they go into the envelope. If you've done some sort of sigil work, which you could definitely do to decorate these envelopes, um, you might want to put any sort of important information, like maybe where you circled the, the amount of the bill. You might want to put that towards the sigil, but I don't think that it's really that important because I didn't do it. And again, this thing worked for me. So <laughs> please. All right. So then what you do is you seal them in here. Okay. So they'll just go into there, hold them up however you got to seal it up. Okay. Look all over it. Seal it up. Then Flip that bad boy over, and at that point, it will be blank. But I want you to make your letter like mine. So let's take a look at it. Let me crawl up here and show you. You can see here, I have addressed this from the universe. So I have a letter. I'm wanting the universe to send me something, okay? So this is the sender portion and I put the universe in there because I want the universe to send me this thing. I need some help, I need some money, give me some cash flow, universe. They go in to the sender portion. Me goes into the recipient portion. Okay, so the person where, where when you get this, you would be like, oh, okay, there's my name on it. Oh, who's this from, right? All right, it's from the universe to you. Then put on the envelope what it is that you want. All right, and you want to be specific about what you're doing and you want to be positive about what you're doing because if you doubt this, it's not gonna work for you. If you're like, oh, well, uh, that's, well, me, uh, Take some time to think about it before you try this because it's not going to do you a damn bit of good if you don't believe in what you're doing, okay? That being said, give it a try. So I put in the $500, right? So this is, I made mine into like an advertisement from the universe almost. So the universe is telling me there's $500 and more, all right? Ask for, you don't have to ask for $10,000 when you only need five, but you can say, you know, I need $5,000, I need $5, I need $500, whatever, and more. So it, opens up our uh, opportunities for abundance. And that's why I like to use that as opposed to using a specific digit, like a, like the decimals, the 74 cents. That's why I like to pull those off of there because then it's very easy to just plus and that allows the opportunity for more abundance than I could have imagined for myself, right? I'm just asking to get my bills paid. I'm not trying to become a millionaire or anything. 
this is my heartfelt plea so i'm putting it on there and hoping that maybe something good will happen then i put down the date that i need these by must cash by 10 17. so i looked at the bills i saw in them what date i had to have this or else the world is on fire right i looked at that date and I put it on my envelope because it's very important that for me to pay my bills and for this to actually work for me, I get the money before that time, right? So that's a part of my intention. In honing my intention, I name the date that I want this thing to happen, okay? And then at the top, accept this money immediately. Okay, so just as soon as it comes to you, you just be grateful for it. And here it is, it is coming to you. It's right here, it's right here in your hands, right? That's what I want the letter from the universe to say to me. Say word, here's your money, it's right here. Here's $500 and some more. You know, you got it before October 17th. That's what I wanted, that's what I broke. So, what happened? Well. And I will go ahead and insert probably here. A picture of the uh, candle spell so that you can see exactly what I did. Now those of course are candles that I make myself, the prosper candle that is pictured with, but you can use any sort of prayer candle, any sort of candle that works for you for this, okay? I like to use the glass prayer candles because they are longer lasting. Sometimes money doesn't just poof show up. This time for me though, it did. So again, what happened? I said that I needed $500. I did this candle spell. I read on Reddit where a person said, how do I prove to myself that my manifestations are real? And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can prove that this manifestation is real. I'm the lady who calls out scammers. I, you know, let's prove myself. The, uh, <laughs> The, the, the statement from my website, I waited a while, I wanted to see what would happen with this prosperity manifestation in full, and I have now received over double what I needed for my bills in a week. Universe granted me not only the ability to pay my bills, but to get ahead in other areas, right? I've been able to apply a little bit extra to my bills so that next month when they come, they're, they're not feeling the same way, you know, they're not hidden the same way. I'm caught up, I'm rebalanced, I've reached my homeostasis, and I not only have new clients, but now I have new creative things to be working on, I have new ideas, I have new people, I, I'm... It's wonderful and it's way more than what I could have asked for if I had tried to just list everything. So if you guys are interested, I really do suggest it. You guys can do it with anything. So long as you got bills, you can do a letter from the universe, okay? Give it a try. Let us know what your results are. I'd really like to hear from you. So you can find me on Facebook at SayWord. You can send me your, uh, absolutely, this is on YouTube, right? So let's just put it down there in the comments or if you're here on Reddit, hi. Um, put them down in the comments. What happened for you? How was your manifestation? What were your results like? Do you have any more ideas of ways that we could do this? I think that this is a pretty good way, but I think that there's a lot of other ways that we could be pepping these up as well. So if you've got ideas, let me know. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, and I will be seeing you tomorrow.